tortellini. <laughs> there's a building on Belle Isle you might consider an eyesore, but inside there's a surprising piece of Detroit history frozen in time. And photojournalist Alex Atwell is taking us inside to explore the old sawmill that's uniquely Detroit. It is a hidden jewel. When the DNR first took over the island, there was so much debris. The trees and weeds were so high around this building that until we started hacking through and realized what was in here, a lot of people have forgotten about it. My name is Joe Aiken. I'm the uh, president of the Arbor Society of Michigan Foundation. And we are now sitting in the historic sawmill located on Belle Isle. This sawmill was owned and operated by the city of Detroit Forestry for probably almost 100 years. The interesting thing about this mill is that we know that there's a deep, rich history of forestry in Michigan uh, through the harvesting of the white pines. Uh, this sawmill was actually installed here, utilized basically just by the city of Detroit Forestry to repurpose logs that came down within the city. So what's amazing about that is that this is grassroots urban wood reutilization before it was even a term. At one time, uh, the city had over 600,000 trees. Anything that needed lumber or wood, the trees from the city provided that. So they actually would mill the material and stack it. And if anybody needed something, picnic tables, desks, cabinets, they produced their own timber. There was no Home Depot, there was no lumber yard. So they made their own. When it first was here, you think about it, there, it was before the automobile. So there was this horse and buggy bringing this timber here. We have some old pictures where they are carting this around which is pretty amazing. And in the 20s, in you know, some of the cars that the frame was made with wood. So everything was crafted by hand. What's great about this is this is actually some of the original timber. And to kind of go over how the mill operates, uh, this carriage would go out the door, lock it down with these log dogs. The sawyer with the handle would run this carriage in past the sawmill blade. That's a 52 inch sawmill blade. As it passed by, it was just simple as pulling this. This has been inspected and this can work again. This will mill wood one day soon. How exciting is it to think that this thing's gonna be doing what it did so many years ago? For an arborist or someone that is into this, it's, God, it's almost more exciting than the Super Bowl, if you ask me. You really have a passion and a love for something. To see something this old and this historical that we can bring to life is gonna be pretty amazing. If you'd like to support the restoration of the old sawmill and learn more about the Arbor Jet Project, visit their website, arborjet.com. Very cool.